question two with the sample exam. So the data below shows an internet access by household type for the west coast of the South Island. Privately owned houses, an amount of internet access they have is what we're looking at here, whether they were rented or private, whether we have access or not. And they want us to consider the events, a household of privately owned house, so that's that group, and the household has access to internet. That's that group. Explain whether these events are independent. So like I've said a million times to you in class, you have to memorize the independence formula. And that formula is probability of A and B happening is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B if independent, only if independent. Okay, so we have to test this. So to test it, um, we need to figure out how to fill this formula in with the information we're trying to compare. So we could say that A might be access to the internet, and B might be whether the houses are privately owned or rented. So this table's got a little bit of a trick for us here. First thing I'm noticing is that these are all in percentages. Never do any calculations with a percentage. You always have to convert them to a decimal. So make sure before you go any further, probably just rewrite these all as decimals so you don't screw up and forget that. And that's true in every situation. You never use a percentage for a calculation. You always need to convert it to decimal first. So if I'm trying to figure out the probability of A and B, the probability that they own house and can access, that's going to be 0 0.261. And I need to test if that's the same as the fact that they own a house times the probability that they have access. So, I don't know if this is true, I'm trying to figure it out. So the probability that they own a house, well, that's the 0.261 and the 0 0.137. So remember, you can put in a total column, and that would be uh, 8, 9, sorry, bad handwriting, 8, 9, 3.0. So the probability that they have a privately owned house, the total probability for that is going to be 0 0.398. Next thing that we're going to look at is the probability that they have access to internet. So again, you can do totals over here as well. So this plus this is going to get me 566.0. So now that we know those two bits of information, um, let's take a look. So again, when we're testing this, we just got to see whether or not this is going to be true, right? This is what we're still looking to compare. So I need to see if 0 0.261 is the same thing as timesing the probability of privately owning your house and the probability that you have access to the internet. So when I times these two numbers together, I get 0 0.2647 to 4dp. Comparing that to 0 0.261, these are not the same. So they're not equal. Therefore, not independent. So remember, they're only going to be independent if it's true, if those two had worked out to be the exact same thing.